Hi, welcome to PT Dance Videos. Today we're going to be talking about recovery positions. The reason we're going to be talking about recovery positions is because as we all know, our recovery phase is far more important than the training phase. The saying goes, you grow out of the gym, not in the gym. Here, we train hard, break down our muscle tissue, but we get our results when we go home, when we eat our good nutrition, when we take our supplements, when we decrease stress levels, and we get plenty of sleep. So today, recovery positions are the positions that you need to get yourself into in between sets during your workout to aid your recovery and get your body up and running and increase strength and get your body recovered as soon as possible so you're ready for that next set. That's right guys, your rest and recovery doesn't start after your workout. It starts in your workout and that's what we're going to be talking about today. There are two main ways that we need to get your body recovered in between sets as soon as possible. Recovery positions. Now the first problem is this. When you train a muscle tissue, your muscle tissue has been broken down. We need a delivery of nutrients in your blood to that working muscle ASAP and as much blood as possible delivering those nutrients. So, if you're going to be doing a squat, your target muscles here are your quads and glutes. The first thing instinctively people do is sit down in a seat. That's probably one of the worst things you could possibly do. Because what you're currently doing is, you're putting your body weight down onto your glutes. You're squashing all the blood out of your glutes and out of one of your main primary target muscles. And now that muscle has got no blood flow, it's got no nutrients being delivered to it. So when you get up off the seat and you start getting prepared for your second set, you only start recovering then, which means the fatigue rate is way too fast, your body remains way too catabolic, and, there's, and you're minimizing the anabolic response. So what we need to be doing is standing. When you stand, your body weight is transferred to the limbs and your bone structure, and therefore you are still stimulating a lot of blood flow. You're not taking the blood out of your primary muscles. Don't think that, that your muscles are contracting enough to not speed recovery. You're doing more damage sitting in a seat than standing. Uh, your body is made to stand. It's made to transfer the weight to your bone structure so it can stand for a long period of time. This is what happens to revolution. So it's okay to stand. Don't be afraid to stand when you are tired. Don't sit down. You're just squashing all the blood out of your muscles. And now I want you to take this concept as well to all the other exercises. Um, when you're training back, for example, don't lie down on the ground, don't collapse on the floor, um, don't lean up against the wall. You're taking all the blood out of your target muscles. You want to keep blood in your target muscles, as much blood flow in there as possible. So the second thing we're going to be talking about is how to get more blood flow now to those working muscles. So the other thing we can do is use gravity. And the reason we're going to use gravity is because gravity pulls things down towards the earth we need to pull blood to the working muscles. So we can use gravity to pull our blood to the working muscles. So, what we need to do is, we need to get your target muscle as low to the ground as possible, transfer the rest of your body higher than your target muscle. So you need to get yourself into the advanced recovery position, which is focusing on transferring blood through gravity to that target muscle. Here's a classic example. In between bench press sets, my clients who are really serious about natural bodybuilding will get into this position. They'll lie down flat on their back, and because they're on their back, they're taking the blood away from their back, which is good because now you're transferring more blood to your chest. They're elevating their feet because they don't need the blood in their feet, so all the blood is forced to transfer to one place, and that's your chest. So it looks like this. And it's as simple as that. You just raise your feet up on a bench, lying down flat on the ground, and this position here, in between uh, a chest set, such as bench press or dumbbell press, can dramatically transform more blood to your chest, and dramatically increase the strength of your next set. Try that in your next workout.